Some people think that being green and being lazy don't mix. I disagree. I'm Josh Dorfman, and I'm the lazy environmentalist. People talk a lot about the pollutants that come out of their cars, but not very much about what actually goes into them. From engine oil to park cleaners to interior fabrics, is there a way to keep our cars on the road without wrecking the environment? My name's Todd Staples. I'm the owner of Stealth Auto. We are a custom auto parts website. Recently, we hooked up with my buddy Ray, who owns SWRMotorsports.com. And now we have a website business and a shop where we can do our installations. The work we do is generally to use more gas, burn through more tires, and you know go faster and stronger. So I don't think anything we do is eco-friendly. The few things that I've seen at trade shows, I just assume won't work. It can't be as good as the highly toxic engine degreaser that we use every day. So anything that we pick we have to believe in 100%. What's this here? What, what am I holding? What do you guys use this That's for? our engine degreaser. It says danger may cause burns. Yeah. Experience some burns. You get a little burn here. Yeah. There. <laughs> You're well. screwed. Are you concerned about that? <laughs> Not fact? really. It gets the grease up. We got to do what we got to do. I mean, That's we got to clean the car. Stuff. There's green solutions, green alternatives that I could show you guys and that I, I really hope would work for your business. Our customers' cars look good. They are top notch. If it's gonna be anything that's gonna restrict the performance of the vehicle. And price has to be same or less than we're paying now. And so if I can measure up on those criteria, you'd be open to going green. If you can find someone that fits all those categories, I'll be impressed. Todd and Ray have been repairing cars their way for years. So it's going to take a lot to convince them to go green. Jacques Andres is the owner of Clean Green Collision, an eco-friendly auto repair shop. By greening his business, Jacques reduced his carbon emissions by 60% and created a safer environment for his employees and his customers. This is a green parts washer. The way that this is operating is kind of the, the new age of biotechnology. So it's got these little microorganisms. They get up around the oils and the petroleum. You're probably using a lot of products that have chemicals in them. So this is a parts cleaner that's relying on natural microorganisms right. to clean parts. This cleans the part. And it's healthier for you guys and healthier for the planet. I mean, why wouldn't you do it? Let's grab this part over here. You don't have to worry about the, you know, all of the cool technology inside it. You're just cleaning like normal. See you guys right. in a couple weeks. See you in a couple weeks. Thanks, Thanks Carlos. All right. Thanks, Carlos. Let's get those bugs to work, yeah? I actually like this machine. All right, there she hey, is. Fellas, fellas. What's happening, guys? What's up, fellas? Good to see you, Carlos. What's up, man? Did you try the parts washer that we showed you? That damn thing worked. Look at this. Well, yeah, this that thing part, was black. It was black. All kind of suck. It's a cleaner solution. For more lazy solutions, go to sundancechannel.com slash lazy. Did you try the parts washer that we showed you? That damn thing worked. Look at this. Well, yeah, this that thing was black. It was black. All kind of suck. It's a cleaner solution. Did you try solution. the parts washer that we showed you? That damn thing worked. Look at this. Well, yeah, this that thing was black. It was black. All kind of suck. It's a cleaner solution. Did you try the parts washer that we showed you? That damn thing worked. Look at this. Well, yeah, this that thing was black. It was black. All kind of suck. It's a cleaner solution.